I said it's hard for me to love I really thought that you would be the one Maybe it's hard for me to love Cause you told me you changed but I did not see one Here we go, here we go, here we go Will this be Jinder Mahal's moment? Here comes Seth Franklin Rollins Oh, this should be a good match. I really hope that it is a good match. Uh, yeah, and here's the thing, you know, for me, I've I've gone back a few times actually and watched Gender's. Uh, I think it was his first entrance as WWE champion, and for me, um, one of the main reasons I go back and watch it is it's inspiring to see somebody achieve their dreams. Regardless of whether you like the person, regardless of if you can get behind them. I know he was a jobber for many, many years and they all of a sudden presented him like he was this big deal, right? But for me, it's inspiring just to see somebody achieve their dream. So uh, I'm rooting for him tonight simply based off of that. It's the same reason that I can go back and watch uh, Ms. Penn Cena at WrestleMania 27. It was rated as one of the worst WrestleMania uh, main events of all time. But I can go back and watch it because, number one, I feel bad for The Miz being concussed. Number two, I feel bad for the fact that he was told he was going to get this major... Uh, uh, papa. I feel bad that he was going to get this... Ma he was told he was going to get this major pyro, and it was really just uh, like a shower of fireworks. And number three, it's awesome to see him achieve his dreams. Here we go. We got Samantha Irvin doing the introduction. Here we go. Maharaja. Woo! <laughs> oh, there goes Goofy Seth. All right, here we go. This is about time. I feel like I've waited a long time for this match, probably because of the, the week-long buildup due to Tony Khan. <laughs> I'm almost out of water, but I'm not getting up. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. The bell has rung. Here we go. Nice attack from behind from Jinder. Starting off nice and fast, okay. Pedigree attempt from Rollins. Gender throws him over. Come on, come on. Yes. You need to be aggressive right now, Gender. You need to be aggressive. You got this opportunity because of a lot of things aligning. So now's the opportunity. Show the world, Gender. They're moving nice and fast. Crowd is definitely sounding like it's behind uh, Seth Rollins. Now, running knee off the off the uh, side of the ring apron there. I, uh, I wish this was happening in any other city than Little Rock, Arkansas. Uh, when, I, when the show opened and I saw that they were in Little Rock, I was like, this crowd is going to be dead. This crowd is going to be absolutely dead. That's why they have half the crowd blacked out under black. What? 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 Don't do it. Not. Oh, I'm not going to have enough water to get through this. I'm not going to have enough water to get through this. And then they go to commercial. You can't go to commercial on something like that. 
You can't just have Damian Priest walk out there and then go to commercial. Come on. Ooh. Oh, WWE, you play with my feelings too much. You play with my feelings. You play with my feelings. Now we got, do we just come back from a commercial break? Oh, well. I don't know what to say. I'm, I'm about to be, I might as well take this last sip. Yeah. Oh, oh, look at that. You know when you don't finish your waters and you just find water laying around? Here we go. Got a little... There we go. <laughs> That's some uh, ASMR for you right there. There we go. But I wish that this match was happening at really any other city. Um, as soon as I heard... Just the name Little Rock, Arkansas does not sound like a place where it's popping and a place that like, yeah, this is going to be something exciting. Um, so I saw them there. I saw them open the show with them with the mountain of snow. And here's the thing. This is being filmed right here in Chicago, Illinois. If this were happening in Chicago, it's very cold outside in Chicago. Um, earlier, it felt like, you know, the feels like is really what matters. It felt like negative 21 degrees. And the last time I checked about 30 minutes ago, it was negative 18 degrees outside. I don't care if the building's on fire. I don't care if there's a hurricane. Well, that wouldn't really happen over here, but uh, a tornado warning, whatever it may be. Chicago is going to turn up. Regardless of what's going on, Chicago is going to turn up. And there's plenty of other cities out there that, that are going to uh, be loud regardless of the elements. I, I am not going to spend my money to be quiet. I am absolutely not going to spend my money uh, and go drive somewhere and trek through all that snow and everything just to go sit somewhere for three hours and be quiet. You know, from the this is one of the more quieter Cody Rhodes woes that I've heard. Wow. And I understand that there's a limited a limited amount of people there because of the snow. You know, people in different parts of the I guess the country just have. Uh, what's how do I want to say it? I guess just respond to the cold differently. They're probably very used to the cold in, uh, you know, Arkansas, very used to snow, things like that. I'm pretty used to snow um, and the cold, you know, here in Chicago and having grown up around this area all my life. But my thing is, I'm not, I'm just not going to spend any money to go sit somewhere and be quiet. And from the moment the show opened, I was like, okay, that match they had with um, DIY versus uh, JD, JD McJobber and uh, <laughs> Tom and Nick Mysterio, uh, that really got the crowd woken up. And I feel like it's, it's too wishy-washy for me after that. You know, I, I need some energy. And I really wish that this was happening in a more energetic atmosphere so we can get a true gauge as to what's going to happen. The show's back on now. Uh, talk through the entire commercial break about that crowd because it was just like, geez, uh, they need to get a little more into it here. But here we go. So we have Damian Priest sitting at ringside. Michael Cole is staring intently into the monitor. Intently into the monitor. Should be really interesting to see how this goes. The 50th WWE champion. Abdominal stretch. A little bit of a rest hold, it seems like. Damien, I don't know why he's out there, but obviously something is going to happen. Is he going to cash in? Is this going to become a triple threat? Is this going to be after the match is over? What is about to happen? And the thing about a Raw is you can look at the clock and see, okay, something's going to happen because, you know, there's still a few minutes left or whatever. So I'm just, I'm not even going to look at the clock. Let's go, Rollins. Come on, gender. Oh, I wish they were in a different city. Oh. Oh, 
10 years in the making. They're really hyping this up. A rematch 10 years in the making. I wish it was being built like that. That would make it even more awesome, but this is still incredible to watch. Wow. It's got to be cold in there. Okay, Jinder throws him over. Seth Rollins on the defense. Cross body. Kick out at two from Jinder. Come on, Jinder. Oh, I don't even, is this a super kick or whatever to the face? Super kick, sweet chin, mini sweet chin music, whatever it is. Seth's doing his thing, of course. Yeah, because now that Damian Priest is sitting out there at ringside, I don't see him just, oh, match is over. You know, regardless of what happens, oh, match is over. Let me just walk to the back. Something's going to happen. And I'm, I'm concerned, scared, excited, everything. And that's exactly what they want. <laughs> and they got it. I'm not even getting up to get some more water. That's how I'm just like, what is about to happen? What's going to happen? Come on, we need some offense, gender. We need some offense. Pedigree. Pedigree, but his knee gave out. I saw that goofy dancing. <laughs> All right, I see a rope spot coming in. They're really close to the... Yep. Anytime they're super close to the ropes like that, you already know what's coming. But this this may be one of the most watched Jinder Mahal matches of all time right here. Like Seth just like fell off the top. He didn't even it didn't seem like he jumped. Alright, here we go. Seth's going up top. Alright. 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 Gender rolling out the way. Oh, Priest stood up. No. No. What's happening? Who's coming? Drew McIntyre? Oh, my God. Okay, now they're fighting. Does that remove Damien from the picture? Oh. Head first into the ring post. Jinder's got him up. Jinder's got him up. Oh! One, two. Oh! I was hoping. Come on. Oh! Oh, I would be mad too, Jinder. I was hoping. I was hoping. All right, people are standing now. Come on, Jinder. Come on, Jinder. Oh, my heart is beating. I want to see him have a moment. I want to see him have a moment. 
Give this man a moment. Yeah, get the chairs in there. Briefcase to the face. Oh, oh, oh. The Colossus. The Colossus. The Colossus. One, two. Oh, my God. Another kick out. Oh. Okay, well, I don't know now because he hit the Colossus and everything. They got tossed out. Curb stop. What time is it? Oh, it's it's after ten. Yeah, they had to go. Ah. Uh. I wish they had an opportunity to. <sighs> I wish they had an opportunity to, to to call an audible here or something that. But I think they did a good job of making gender look uh, pretty strong here. I I hope this isn't it for him. Um, I don't like to see wasted talent. I, I I don't. And I think that I mean he's got a good look. He's got a good theme song. He seems like he's come a really long way on the microphone. You know. So for me. Uh, I hope that I hope they do something with that for sure, because Seth Franklin Rollins and all these people, they'll be there for a long time uh, and they've had their moments. You know, it would just be interesting to see them really do something different with gender. And maybe, you know, if, if that means putting a belt on them, I just hope they do it different than last time. And it's not for, you know, other outside reasons as to why he becomes the champion. But it's like he's, he earned it. So I hope this is the beginning of a really nice story uh, for Jinder Mahal. So, wow, that was that. Uh, yeah, let me. I, they had me into that match. That was in. The time went by really fast. So, uh, wow. Wow. I don't even know what to say, but I'm out of here. I'll catch you guys next time.